Hey, what's up? It's Seth to the T back at it again with another reaction spree. Today is just going to be five videos for a reaction flows reaction cluster once again from top 15 Z. This first video we have here is Drive Ahead Top 20 Fastest Cars. Can't wait to see what um cars are gonna get the tier here. If you have not already, if you are a Drive Ahead fan, check out Top 15 Z's channel. Link will be in the description. And also can't wait to see what future updates Drive Ahead has to offer. I can't wait to see what these cars are going to be ranked and how they're going to be ranked. I can't recall what the last one's going to be. Actually, it is. It's going to be about Rift Riders. Well, we're about to see once we jump into it. So I have nothing else to say. So let's just go ahead and do it. Soon as it starts to load. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be finding out which car is the fastest car in Drive Ahead. Before I start this video, please subscribe and like this video. Also, comment down below which car Whoa. you think is going to win. Is it Number music? Number 20 is the firework with 1.024 seconds, and this one was the most surprising. Number okay. 19 is the Bogzilla with 1.002 seconds. Okay. I think these cars got a slower time because... Is that a really remix of one of the Drive Ahead Number songs in the background? Is the Space Bike with 0 0.951 seconds. Tied okay. For 17th place with a time of I'm guessing either the rocket the ride or rocket slay is gonna oh well maybe is the superstar dragster with a time of maybe the rocket ride is gonna be number one seconds. number 15 mm. is the shark bite with a close is it really is it really seconds. that fast number 14 is the dragster with an even closer time of 0 0.9 holy smokes seconds. that means that the superstar dragster and the regular dragster are almost the exact same speed wow number 13 is the burger bike with its nitro boost ability with a time of 0 0.899 okay. seconds. Okay, tiny Number bit faster. Number 12 is the Rocket Fist with a time of 0 0.874 seconds. All right. Number 11 is the Ice Glider, Glider with a time of 0 0.865 okay, seconds. Okay, I'm surprised that's Number fast. Number 10 is the Speed Spider with an impressive 0 0.847 seconds. Number 9 is the Army Bike and with its 9 boost ability, it has a time of 0 0.818 seconds. Number nice. Eight is the rocket oh. Oh. Time of and which one is number one? Seconds. Number seven is the street wiener with a really impressive and close time of 0 0.808 seconds. Dang. Number six is the compensator with its night boost ability. It has a time of 0 0.793. 793. Seconds. Wow. Number five is of the dragon carriage, carriage with a time of 0 0.784 seconds. Nice. Number four is the hog and with its night boost ability, it has a time of 0 0.777 seconds. Wow. Lucky number, number seven. Is the motocross bike no way. the worst car in the game, but the third fastest car in the game with a time of 0 0.764 seconds. Number That's two is insane. The hopper, oh, the fastest rear fighter in the game, and the second fastest car in the game, the time of overall 0 car 0.699 seconds. Okay, and the fastest car in drive ahead is the sports bike. Okay, with its nitro boost ability, it has a time of 0 0.664 seconds. That hey guys, is quite video, fast. Please comment down below what cars you think I should have added to this list because I did not test every single car. And also, I want to give an honorable mention to the Radical Racer. It just wasn't good enough. It got absolutely destroyed because I replaced it with the Dracula Carriage, which was a really, really good idea. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video. See you guys later. Bye. All right. Next video we have after this. Right, this is the 2.4 Battle Arena and 1v1 rework new yeah, power-ups. This was, I think this was a leak, right? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be looking at the leaks in the newest developer live stream. Developer live stream number two okay. will be in the description. In the stream, there was a lot of new content being presented by the community manager of Drive Ahead, Martinez. And yes. And I'm going to be summarizing all the things that he leaked. All right. Okay, starting off with the 1v1 rework, every car now has a health feature similar to the yes. one in the newer fighters. It uses the level of your car in Battle Arena now. Power-ups are now going to be an option in 1v1s as well. You can All right. disable it whenever you want, which I, I think is a really good idea. That's awesome. Next feature is a Battle Arena rework. Every car now has a health feature, just like in the 1v1s. Also, now, instead of a health bar, you're just going to have three stars. And Ooh. we're going to get matched with real player's decks now in your trophy range. Oh. that the bot's health and damage won't be so OP. Okay. Contrary power ups that you probably saw in the later clips. Oh, snap. This one is the Ice Worm Egg power up. And this one summons an Ice Worm, which I'm yes. pretty sure goes for the opponent. Mm -hmm. The next one is a UFO power up, which summons a UFO. 
and it not just anyone, the one from the alien extraction map, which is the more powerful Mass one. extraction. And it sucked both of you up, so it's just gonna be really annoying. Okay. The last one is the rift power-up, and this one rips a hole in space and alters gravity. And Whoa. And it causes both you and your opponent to float. In the live stream, there was one linked ability, around seven unknown what? racing cars, plus the dragster, which is the only car we know that has the ability for certain. Now gain invulnerability if they move fast enough. Okay. This ability goes away quickly when you slow down, though. Also, I got a little hint from Solly saying that Trophy Road could be extended, and Solly is the creative director, I believe. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Okay. Guys, well, that's anything, amazing. If this video was helpful, please like it and make sure to subscribe. There is a please. video. See ya. There is a video of that. Which is the next one? No, I don't think so. Guys, welcome back to another opening um boxes video. video. Opening 100 boxes gets three legendaries. And I've been saving this up for a while. So what I'm gonna do is actually, jeez. So what I'm gonna do is actually uh see if oh jeez, come on. See if there if, what if the legendaries are here somewhere. That's an uncommon. Let's see, let's see where are the legendaries. Nope, nothing still. That's odd. Okay, rare. Oh, there we go. Hang on, I saw one. All right, twelve boxes left, guys. All right, twelve boxes. Just give me the. Oh, There's another a legendary. Oh, another? I missed Are you one? Are kidding me? No. Another? Hang on. Okay, so this is the third one, and I gotta go back for the first one. So he got the Steam Wheeler. Oh, I saw and now when he got the Triceratops. On, devs. Another ep- Another legendary. Another legendary. Hang on, where is it at? Dude, what is my luck? Your luck is insane, Top 15Z. Dude. So, Steamroller, Triceratops, and... Last box. Okay. Last box. What do you get? Wow, okay. Oh, nothing too special. I'm what do you get? Oh, wait. I just got three legendaries out of 100 boxes. That is insane. Hang on. I'm gonna go back here because I need to find it. Anymore. Come on, Legendary. Where you be at? Alright, two. Not bad. Nowhere, dude. I cannot I find so. this legendary. Okay, rare. Anyway, he's got, he's got, he's got, he's got uh, three legendaries. Can't find the original one, so we're just gonna move on. But hey, good luck, good one, top fifty Z. What do we have in this? Okay, this was the uh, two point four stuff. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new update 2.4 and mm -hmm. Drive Ahead. There are a lot of new features, and I'm going to be showing you all the features that are in this new update. All right. You know, I have so played the some of it. This thing is a battle arena rework. So you get matched up with real opponents' decks or teams. And for some reason, a lot of people have level 9 teams, which I guess is understandable, but that means they didn't really use their wrenches that well in the past, but it is benefiting them now, so I guess that's good for them. Yes. Also, as you can see, there's three stars now instead of the, um, the health bar. The health pool of all your cars. Well, except the uh, things have uh, original health bars now. Also, each car has like health now. Yes. So you don't die instantly. That's awesome. And also, yes, there is a big um, health difference between me and my opponent. Mm -hmm. It takes my opponent, like, two hits to kill me. But it takes me, like, what, six hits? It's kind of unfair, but they are bots, so it is easier to just camp and let them kill themselves. Hopefully yes. going against the monster boss should be easy, because I can easily just take advantage of his bad... Oh, never mind. He's just gonna run into the saws, I guess. Almost down. The bots really there aren't we too go. smart, are they? Yeah, they okay, are not. Monster cannon. This should be pretty easy. You just knock him out of the map, you know? He's gonna take damage. Okay, he's gonna respawn. And you oh! Know, you think, if you fall off the map, That's awesome! Especially water. He'll just respawn again. 
That is awesome. I really like that concept. Respawn mechanics finally work. Apart from the soccer, the summer soccer. Oh, okay. We're actually gonna die here. Wow, that that really sucks. Yeah, we'll gotta be careful. Again, Ghost Dragon against Monster Bus. This should be pretty easy, I'm assuming. Like, I just so what else? Battle Arena reworks looks fun so far. Uh, oh wow, his his wheels just are came really off. Gone now. Um, just came off. Oh, of course, I was okay, wondering I what was going on. But it looks good enough for my phone. Quality went down again. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh, that was low. Oh, it's anybody's game now. Monster bus. Okay, this should be pretty easy. No, it's the monster truck. Ooh, what if he? Oh no, is he gonna? Is he gonna fall back? Oh my god. Oh my, that's messed up. That's so funny. What the heck? Wait. Is this gonna do it again? okay? Never mind. That was gonna happen again, to be honest. That so would have been fell back in the water. insane. <laughs> okay, we should be easily. Um, Boom! Right and now here. die. Okay, bye bye. Awesome. Top and easy wins. Oh yeah. Also, I mentioned that there's actually no trophy limit, so no trophy that, limit. Um, drive ahead actually extended the trophy road to 150,000 trophies, and all I get for that is. And Rift tickets. Hopefully they can um, make their rewards better for this. Yes. Okay, the next feature. The power-ups. Power-ups in 1v1s. You can obviously nice. disable this. Also, it's a limited time event. Because it's kind of unfair. But I can see that. It's really fun, especially with a friend, which I do not have. It's okay. Okay, so there's obviously all those different um, power-ups. But there are actually three new ones, if you don't know. Okay. There's the, I guess, rift power up. Yeah, there's the rift. And it makes you float. Mm hmm. Holy smokes. It's annoying, but yeah, it's alright. It looks cool, though. These other two are my favorite, though. There is. Oh, that UFO. Spaceship one. This one spawns the alien spaceship from the extraction map. Yes. The last one, and the most broken one, is the ice worm egg. And this one summons the flippin' ice worm. Yeah. Also, Driver Head kind of promised us something. What? Um. They said that. Oh no! Don't you? There was gonna be a thing where you would get a guaranteed two legendaries out of your next five boxes. Oh! And those two legendaries would be the steamroller and the rocket fist. They didn't mention that you would also get the army bike and alien attack drone. I obviously got none of these. Okay. Because there's some bug thing and it doesn't work for some reason. Also, the rewards got um, nerfed a little bit. This time, you only get 25% chance of getting cars, helmets, and arenas. Oh, okay. They made the chances for helmets and arenas um, equal to cars, which I think is alright, but they should still give 100% chance for cars because... Really should. I mean, it's kind of broken, but mm -hmm. I mean, for new players, it's kind of useful, actually. <sighs> Okay, so finishing up the box opening, I think I got pretty lucky actually because I got a few helmets in there. Hmm. Arenas, but again, they're more um, common now, so it just um, takes a little bit more getting used to. I see. The last feature is abilities for the superstar dragster and the regular right. dragster. What? You know, when they go fast enough, they get a cool fiery effect, and they also gain invulnerability. As long as they're, um, if they go fast enough, fast they gain enough. a fiery effect. That's like the for the classic the monster? In the Metal Storm map, using Superstar Dragster, and I'm not slowing down one bit because no one is stopping me. And I'm just invincible. That's awesome. And yes, if you're wondering, the Dragster also has the ability. Wow. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and like this video. See you guys later. All right. Bye. Probably the last video, maybe. Yeah, this one. The Rift Riders one. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be ranking all the Rift Riders in Drive Ahead. And I've actually done this before. Dude. But that video is pretty outdated. Quality is messing me up right now. Come on. Work with me, please. Anytime now. All the Rift Riders in Drive Ahead. And I've actually done this before. But that video is pretty outdated because 
It was me before Pangularity, and also, I don't think that ranking was really that good, so we're gonna re-rank all of our fighters in this video. Okay. Number 25 is the Mantis Shrimp. This car is really flimsy, and it looks like it has some front protection, but in reality, its front protection isn't reliable at all. Okay. Obviously, its back protection is also really bad, and the car itself is pretty short. Number 24 is the Earn Launcher. This car has no back protection at all. Front protection is also really not that great. Yeah. The ability is sort of map dependent because it's only useful in more closed maps or maps that have roofs. In more open maps, the ghost just gives opponents a high advantage over you and they just fall down like raining cars. Number 23 is the summoner. First of all, this car is actually pretty fast. Its back direction is alright. Um, okay, and what else? Really good. Its disadvantage is its protection mm -hmm. because, yeah, its front is really weak. And front the protection is so is weak there. Flimsy. Number 22 is the, the jelly, jelly shock. shock. This car's head is really exposed, and I guess its only protection is that it has some high advantage. Its mm -hmm. ability is actually really useful in pushing back enemies, but you get close enough to enemies where you can see, um, use the full usefulness of the knockback. I see. Number so you one is the battleholder. This car is short. Its main ability is its floating eye, and, and it tries laser. to aim at enemies' heads. Honestly. Of the laser is actually not that bad, and I wish you could actually manually aim it because if this was possible, it would be actually a way better car. This is because, like, yeah, why? Range, so you can just fly up in the air, spin around, and basically kill everyone. Yeah, Number 20 is the biggest deal. This car is pretty good rusher, its speed is also not that bad. Um, it has a wheelie when it uh, goes forward, and you can bend its body to like uh, evade opponents. And yeah, obviously, its head is very exposed. Mm -hmm. Number 19 is the Specimen X. This car, I guess, has an enclosed head. Its wheelie is also not that bad. Its speed is not that bad either. It also has a decent ability uh, with the cow, which can actually be used to um, give it some momentum. Number 18 is okay. the Freezer. This car is pretty flimsy. Um, its production is pretty good. Its head is pretty exposed, though. Its ability freezes people, obviously. But yeah, honestly, the Freeze doesn't really last that long because you can't actually go aggressive with it. You can only just back away or just run away with it. Yeah. Number 17 is the Void, Void engine. engine. This car is a supposed rusher, even though, honestly, it's not even that fast. It's such a rusher that it can't even go backwards that well, yeah. But its production is pretty good, so I guess it can rush opponents, sort of. Yeah. Number 16 is, is the, the Void, Void Hopper. Hopper. First of all, it's the second fastest car in the game, at least right now. And it has a pretty enclosed head. Its back protection is also pretty good. This car is really flimsy, though, due to its speed. And, yeah, it can be pretty hard to control. Number 15 is the Space Scallop. This car has really good protection, okay. but it relies on it way too much. Because the car itself, without any protection, is fairly short. But yeah. I guess has um, a little bit of increased movement speed due to the weight coming off the shell. Number 14 is, is the, the Harpoon. Harpoon. This car's ability can pull in opponents and pretty most useful when you're able to drag the opponents and just like make them somehow like hit the ground or something. Also, it has some pretty good front protection and its movement speed is also really fast. Number 13 okay. is the Blast, Blast fish. fish. Its front protection is really good. Its direction isn't good at all. It has a ramp to its head as well. But okay. anyways, under its ability, its ability is really useful because it's able to push opponents away. And Give you enough time to escape. Because it can push multiple opponents um, mm -hmm. away or in the uh, water if there's no uh, map boundaries. Number That's right. Is the, the Rift, Rift spider. spider. This car is kind of underrated, honestly. Um, its head is it really slow. Mm-hmm. It can block opponents from getting to its head with its arms. Yes. Number 11 is, is the Rift containment unit. Containment unit. This car has a forklift front and yeah, its front protection is really good. Mm -hmm. As you can see, its back protection is really bad, and its ability is um, the black hole cow thing, obviously. Mm -hmm. Number 10 is our Hercules Beetle, Beetle. another very um, front-heavy car. You can do a pretty good wheelie as well. Mm -hmm. um, the car is pretty slow, though, and yeah, it has yeah. knockback. Knockback and is yeah, pretty good. As I said before, it's really front-heavy car, meaning that its back protection isn't uh, good at all. Number 9 mm -hmm. is the, the ghost, ghost ship. ship. First of all, its front protection is pretty good. Back protection... Not that great. Um, it also possesses one of the best abilities in the game, which is you shoot a ghost or phase um, projectiles, similar to the ghost dragon. Except, yeah, these projectiles are actually really easy to aim because they move way slower. Number eight 
Okay, is the, the Kraken, Kraken bait. bait. First of all, its ability is pretty hard to aim, but it's very destructive and can, um... Summon yeah, a tentacle. Turn opponents a lot. Yeah. So, um, you can use the fish to, uh, actually shoot opponents. Also, its correction is really good. Number yes. seven is, is the Mind Lander. First of all, its ability is really broken because you can just spit out a bunch of mines and kill everyone in the map. The amount of explosive power from the mines is crazy. Other than that, the card itself is really good because its head's really closed. It has some pretty good back correction as well. Number six okay, is, is the Art of Grey. Okay, first of all, its speed is pretty good. And yeah, its head is really enclosed. The duration of its ability isn't that great. But yeah, its range is just really long and um, yeah, it's still really deadly. Okay, five is, is the, the Doom, Doom Bomber. Bomber. This card has really good protection and also really fast, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Its ability is very strong. It uh, is a giant explosion that takes five seconds to charge up. Uh -huh. Except it's only a one use thing. Yeah, that's so that's kind of really really strong. Mm -hmm. Number four is, is the, the cosmic squid. squid. First of all, its protection is really good because yeah. it doesn't have one, but it has two layers of protection. It two also layers. Has a pretty good speed and. You can also do a wheelie with the tentacles. Number three is the mm, crystallizer. This car is like a better version of the hover car. Just like the hover yeah. car, it can float and its wheels are. Yeah, invisible. it's like the hover car and freezer mix. Than the hover car. But other than that, it also has a really OP ability. It can freeze cars for a very long time due to its crystal. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this ability can keep cars in place and. It allows the crystallizer to easily defeat enemies. That's nice. Number two, two is, is the ghost, ghost dragon. dragon. And I know what you might be thinking right now. You're like, wait, what? That doesn't mean number one. Well, it's not. Yeah, oh, let so me guess. It's, it's the rift monster. Is, it's best um, part. Its back is actually not that bad either, but against better cars, it can be countered. Yeah. Number one is it's the rift the monster. monster. I know this car is pretty, pretty flimsy, but other than that, it's still a really good car. Is it good? It has a really good height advantage. It's yes has an enclosed head and all in all it's a really good car okay guys that's gonna be the end of this video i just want to show you the entire ranking so all right you have to watch the entire video and yeah these are all the cars and their um boss themes nice and yeah please subscribe and like this video all right well guys that was awesome if you have not already again check out top 50's channel link will be in the description i can't wait to see which cars in group is going to rake next and say and uh for drive ahead to update this more to see what will be there maybe possibly new riff ri riders and a riff rider mode other than that cool with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next reaction so if you go thunder reactor signing out reactor out